Do you really know how to use a rapid test? One doctor claims that the instructions on your test kit won't always yield accurate results. According to Dr. Liu Pengchi, test swaps should be inserted much deeper than indicated in most instructions, which call for a depth of 2.5 centimeters. Dr. Liu said that's not deep enough to reach the mucous membrane and collect a sample. He also has tips on how to insert the swab to avoid injury. How far into your nostril should you insert the swab of a rapid test kit? When using these at-home rapid tests, people might be worried about inserting it too deep and injuring themselves. If the swab is longer and you flinch while inserting it, the swab could break. If, after you pull it out and there are barely any secretions on the swab, it could be that it didn't go deep enough. The kit instructions direct users to insert the swab 2.5 centimeters deep, but the doctor says that at such a depth, the swab remains in the nasal cavity without reaching the nasopharynx. To correctly correct a sample from the nasal mucus membrane, it is necessary to reach as far as 7 to 8 centimeters in. The nasal cavity is covered in a mucous membrane, so if the swab comes out clean, it could be that the test was administered incorrectly. Dr. Liu Pengchi has this advice on how to correctly get a sample. Usually when you use them, when you insert them this far in, you'll feel some resistance. The distance is more or less the point between the thick segment and the thin segment on the swab stick. You put it in slowly, rotating as you go. The doctor says it's best to insert the swab slowly with a twisting motion into the nostril. If the space feels too small, you can try flaring your nostrils to help with discomfort. Once the swab reaches the back of the nasopharynx, it will feel like the stick has hit a wall. At this point, rotate the swab left and right five times and take it out. The curvature of the nasal septum is relatively high. Start by taking a sample from whichever nostril is less obstructed. Using a gentle twisting motion to insert the swab can reduce the chance of injury to the mucous membrane. The doctor says being gentle is key. He adds that since the length of children's nasal cavities differs from adults, it's best to be careful when gauging how deep to insert the swab.